wish you a Merry Christmas, I wish you a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Hi, it's me. Hello, Daniel. Round three. And today, hmm, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday and only one and a half weeks until we get to Christmas. Oh, come on. <laughs> the iPads, I have my notes here on the iPad. And uh, it turns black and goes out every time, all the time. And uh, I think I forgot to set it right so that it doesn't go out. Oh, no problem. So yesterday I thought about what I've played, all which games I played this year. And that's it's a pretty big list. And I really regret not recording all the games I played, at least a little bit. So um, there's number one is Cloudpunk. Cloudpunk is such a great game. You should play it if you have the possibility to do that. Go up, play that. It's the voxel game, which is set in, um, in this futuristic city where you are a delivery, take on a delivery job and deliver things and persons to different places and then the story um, set around that. It's, it's really, it's visually very, very nice and I, I love the visuals and the story is great the voice acting is great the music is great so that's if this is something you're you're a little bit interested in like the the cyberpunk theme the it reminds me on cyberpunk reminds me on um, Blade Runner uh, there's no shooting in this game. That's another great point, I think, because that is a, that's a game that completely functions without shooting. Um, the next thing on my list is uh, Psychonauts 2, which I played. Uh, I have my love and hate relationship with Psychonauts 2. I always wanted to stop playing Psychonauts 2. Why? This I think the the boss fights are oh, have been so uh, uh, the boss fights were so awful but the story and some of these levels are so brilliant designed. There's especially this um, level that looks like an LSD trip. So great, such a great level. So Psychonauts 2, I definitely regret recording. Um, I would give this game I haven't played the, the original Psychonauts, the first one, and it's Psychonauts 2 is directly after the first part, first game, uh, connects directly to that and continues the story. And even if you haven't played the first game, they... Bring you the story of the first game and the connections and that during the the game, so that you don't need to have have 
played the first game to get into the story and know what's going on there uh, so definitely a must play and a big regret that i didn't record that then uh, another very very great indie game which is out since three years i think it's carry on it's this uh, pixel looking pixel game um, side scrolling game where you play this alien wobble mess ah that's such a great game that's really really a good 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 game and great story perfectly balanced gameplay I I can't remember one thing that I didn't like about this game yeah and uh, the next game uh, where I uh, I'm uh, thinking about recording it but I played through it one time is Onimusha Warlords which is really re-released um, was re-released I think it was last year um, I played it a few days ago and it's a five hour experience and now I have all the codes for the boxes and that written down and you can play through it in in, in quite a, a, a lower time so uh, I, I enjoyed it very very much and yeah I definitely f think about definitely think about to record it again so ah next game on the list which i regret recording is the ascent wow what a great game i played it on day one and there were some bugs it um had some serious back uh, lash or what you call this the, the people were really mad about this game but I think why there were especially one mission that they patched that they patched um, I think after three weeks after release that made it impossible to finish the game complete Mm, to to finish all the side missions completely mm, you could finish the game um, yeah that the ascent is this isomeric shooter with this brilliant optic and you can even play it with I think two friends uh, so that you could play it in three or four co-op. I played it by myself alone. Uh, that's uh, a really, really great game. You should play The Ascent if you haven't played it. The, the soundtrack is great. The graphics are great. The shooting feels awesome. There are so many customizations to your to your character and so many different locations and ah, great game play it maybe I find my time to record at least some episodes for that and the next thing oh I, I haven't heard of the next game uh, it popped out um, of, uh, well, I was looking through the uh, Xbox Game Pass and I stumbled over 
uh, what it called Planet Alpha. I think it was an Xbox One game. Um, I don't know from when this is. This is a side scroller with a great optic. The graphics are really great where you're on this planet. And this planet is about to be taken over by some robots. And you have to escape from the robots and find out what the hell is going on on this planet. And the cool thing about this is that you can um, shift time in this. Uh, on, on certain points in the game you can reverse or um, fast forward time. Um, on this planet and then different things happen or different locations are accessible or um, yeah that's a game which comes is there any shooting no there's no shooting in this game too uh, you only have to avoid the robots and make the robots fight themselves I, th I think um, yeah and then one game I played about 100 hours or more this year is a game where I loved the first one uh, it's The Search 2 The Search 1 was one of my favorite or is still one of my favorite games it's this Souls-like sci-fi game. So, if you haven't ever heard of The Search, it's um, from uh, I think it's a Czechish Czech um, developer. It's Deck 13. Uh, they made this Ah, this this other Souls-like game with the where you play this um, this knight with the the, the 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 very tanky knight. So, oh, one moment. Uh, no. um, and yes, the search is you have to think about the search as um, a game. Okay, you have Dark Souls uh, in the future. With the the mechanics are really uh, similar to Dark Souls, very um, melee combat style, and when you have this currency like the Souls, um, which is um, the only currency where you can upgrade your weapons and upgrade you and the really cool thing that they are doing is that you can decap several parts of your enemies so you can um, cut off an arm to get this part of the armor so you can um, really customize um, your armor the way you want if you want to upgrade your body armor you have to so you have to cut off his his limp here or if you want helmets you have to cut off um, his head and yeah that's really and they celebrate this with um, the ability to slow mo these <laughs> these scenes um, oh, and again it's uh, off like this mm -mm. Um, yeah so I I really played such the shit out of this game yeah and I even haven't finished it um, 
I'm even in Dark Souls and all these games, I'm I love the fighting so much that I don't rush through the games. I celebrate the fighting and celebrate to to go in some fights several times to gain some more souls and to power up my character but also to mm, to, to celebrate the fights the fights in this in the search games are really really good so I don't think that I'm going to replay it but maybe in in some times in the future and then one big 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 game I um, have played this year which is out for I think two years or three years now is Control I finally it's my second attempt to this game um, two years ago I tried it on the PlayStation and I failed miserably on the second boss uh, so I put it aside and said okay that's nothing for me I'm too dumb for this game and now I install I played it on the Xbox um, originally I played it on the uh, PlayStation and now I play it on the Xbox um, and now I got through with ease and uh, it's really really good game a great story with and the the star of the game is this they call it the old house which contains mm, some paranormal all the paranormal things which are happening in in the world are collected and secured in this house the old the old house which is um, a character by its own it's moving it's shifting and um, yeah that's no spoiler but when you go into this building as uh, Jane Faden, you're Jane Faden, who's coming to this building to search for something. You go into this building and then you meet the first character, and then you think, okay, so now I'm I'm looking back, and you can't go back. So the house shifts during the first few minutes of this of playing this game so that you can't go back um, and this happens so often in the game that you go somewhere and then you turn around and go back and go back 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 and then you think oh no this this corridor wasn't wasn't here uh, before and that's what happens so often in this game. I hope I could mm, I hope I um, have explained it the right way now. Um, <laughs> so, so that's uh, definitely uh, a game you have to play and I'm thinking about to play this game again. I have this awesome book with this backstory and this um, all that uh, I got it to my birthday from my wife. Um, I'll show you. So I have uh, this awesome book that's here in this. And in there, got all the character models, all the locations. But it's no, there's no um, solutions 
to the game no, no um, that's the complete development process with behind the scenes material and it's, it's such a great book and you get insights in the game that oh you can't put it here huh? what do you think it looks good um there's so many inside informations about the game, about the development, about the visions the developers had that you want to play the game again after reading this book. Um, the same is for the Death Stranding book I have. Um, I played about, I think, 180 hours uh, or two, or was 214 hours, I think, in Death Stranding. <laughs> and uh, after I played this, I got the Death Stranding book again from my wife to, um, I think it was Christmas last year. Oh, I don't know. And after reading this through this book, which is the same like the control book, where you get these insider information behind the scenes, the versions behind it, the all the artworks. Um, after reading through this book, you want to I wanted to just slap in the game and play it again and yeah. But another 200 hours? I don't know. I don't know. So I regret, re definitely regret recording, not recording Control this year. Uh, but that's a game I could imagine to replay it and to go through it a little bit faster than I did uh, the last time. And the last game on my list is Jedi Fallen Order. Jedi Fallen Order, a really good Star Wars game. Finally, after years, this was a really fun experience. Good Star Wars game. Yeah, I loved it very much to play it. Um, I I don't have anything bad to say about this game. It's so Jedi Fallen Order. I definitely regret to play, but I don't have much to say about that. And so, if you haven't played that, do it. As yesterday, the last thing I want to say is, if you have any questions, please contact me directly via my email and if you need help with starting your podcast starting a YouTube channel contact me I'm here to help you we come together and we make something great together and subscribe and ring the bell next to it so bye bye see you tomorrow peace I'm out <laughs> <laughs>